Hey guys, I'm Nick and on this episode of The Scram Line, I am, I know I say I'm always excited, but I'm really excited, so you know the level of excitement, to share a recipe with you guys today because this is part of a collaboration with a lovely YouTuber named Ala and I'm going to try and be extra lovely about her in this video because she really is a nice person. She has an amazing channel called Alla's Yummy Food. So we're doing a collaboration and we're gonna be giving you guys something special to bake. Two options, one from my channel, one from hers. Something special to bake for New Year's Eve or New Year's celebrations. You can bake it whenever you like really, but these are perfect for New Year's. So I'm gonna leave links down below for her channel, all her social media. For now, let's get onto my recipe and I'll talk a little bit more about Ala later on. Okay guys, so to make these rose champagne cupcakes, start off by preheating your oven to 160 degrees Celsius. The ingredients you're going to need are sugar, plain flour, baking powder, rose water, butter, eggs, sugar pearls, pink food dye, yogurt, oil and some rose champagne. Now for those of you who don't want to use rose champagne, you can use non-alcoholic cider in its place. And you can find the full recipe on my website, thescranline.com, or I'll leave a link in the description down below for you guys to follow. So the first thing we're gonna do is pop our dry ingredients into a large mixing bowl and mix those on low speed until everything is well combined. Next, you can go ahead and add your softened butter, and mix that until it reaches a fine sand-like texture. While your butter is mixing with your dry ingredients, go ahead and add your champagne to a large jug, your oil, yogurt, eggs, vanilla, and whisk those up well. Add your wet ingredients to your dry ingredients in a slow and steady stream until everything is well combined. Then you can stop your mixer, scrape down your bowl, and mix for a final 20 seconds. Now I'm going to divide my batter into three mixing bowls. In one bowl, we're going to add one drop of food dye and fold that in gently. In the next bowl, we're gonna add two drops of food dye and repeat the process again. So we should have three bowls, one with white batter, one with a light pink batter and one with a little bit darker pink batter. We're gonna pop the batter into a piping bag and you can use a glass to help make this process easier. Snip off a little bit of the end and we're going to squeeze a little bit of the dark pink color first, followed by the light pink and finish off with the white. Now you wanna make sure that you fill these up about three quarters of the way once you've got them all filled up, pop them in the oven for 25 minutes or until a skewer comes out clean and let them cool down completely. While your cupcakes are baking, you can prepare your buttercream frosting by adding some yellow food dye and a little bit of that rose essence and mix that in until everything is well combined. To get those pink streaks, we're going to use the blunt end of a skewer Dip it in some pink food dye and draw some pink streaks on the inside of our disposable piping bags. Fill your bag up with your light yellow buttercream frosting and using a 1M tip, I'm gonna frost these in a swirl motion. And finally, we're going to finish these off with those pink pearls to make it look like champagne bubbles. And that's pretty much it. Okay guys, so those were my uh, rose champagne cup. I, sometimes, you know, I do these videos and I'm like, okay, I need to film these things. Then I forget what I'm making. <laughs> that's probably why you saw me looking up and I'm like, oh, what am I making again? So you can find the recipe for my rose champagne cupcakes in the link down below. And that's gonna take you directly to my website. So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, all of that good stuff. 
uh i would love for you guys to head on over to Allah's channel like i said it's gonna be in the link in in the link the link will be in the description down below <laughs> it look okay it's christmas day when i'm filming this and it's freaking hot and anyway i'm not gonna rant because i just woke up from a food coma nap and i'm feeling a little bit you know you feel a little bit grumpy sometimes when you wake up anyway okay so ala she makes amazing food on her channel uh sweets and savory russian food latvian food it looks absolutely delicious uh so head on over and check her channel out my last video is over there for you guys to check out so click on that for more deliciousness I am super excited for next year. I can't wait to share some of my yummy recipes coming up. Uh, anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next episode of The Scrambled.